Hold on, let me go to. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm showing y'all all this shit. I got my man face on my screen. Hold up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> all right, y'all ready? Let's get it. Stop scrolling, Brody. You dropped this. I like this because he got the crown in his hand. You feel me? That's really important. Y'all can't see it, but we're doing a presentation right here. I'm about to get into it. If y'all want to be a part of this new cast member meeting and y'all want to come film with us, just sit through this meeting because I'm about to break down everything that's going on. Y'all not going to be able to see these slides, but really I'm telling these stories and introducing these concepts of what's going on because this is like something totally different that we're doing over here than what most other people are doing. But y'all right here, that you can see this, oh, y'all in the Gorilla King Films group, let's get it. I help talent get into acting and reach celebrity status through hood movies. Now, I like that, but the thing is, I'm giving a platform. We created a platform for y'all to be able to come on and get some more exposure, get some more content for whatever you're trying to do, meet some people, network, learn about the industry. This is like a, a gateway into the industry. And a lot of times I want to know if you're already an artist, you're already in the industry, or are you trying to get in the industry? So this right here, this new cast member me, it's, it's meant to touch y'all and just give y'all a vision, both, both categories. If you stay to the end, I'm going to give y'all the money play. It's a money play if you're in entertainment and you're trying to figure out how to monetize. That's what it is. So let's get it. I am Ashe Khan, award-winning producer, director. If y'all can see right there, that's me winning an award. That's the come up one award for that. This is Grand Theft Auto. This is a new movie. I got some awards for that already. We had a award show. That was dope. Uh, the people voted. You feel me? Just some more stuff. I got 30,000 uh, followers on my YouTube is real people. This is way back in the day. If y'all can see 12 years ago, I got 250,000 views on this, this video. That's back like when 250,000 views was a lot. I've been around for a second. So why am I the one to help you get your first or your next million views? Like be a part of a project that do a million views. Why am I? Or if you already did a million, that's cool, but we about to do it some more millions. And why am I the one to help you get to 100,000 followers? That's important to you getting followers. Everybody followers ain't important to me. But if that's something important to you, why am I the one to help you get there? Okay, I've been doing this since 02, man. I dropped my first stuff in 02, man. You know what I'm saying? My first stuff. And I felt a lot of times. So I, I found out real quick what didn't work. And I was spending a lot of money. 100000 I went in. I still had less than a 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. I had spent like 100 racks. I'm telling you. So I already know what's going on. So it's the P code right here. I'm about to teach y'all the P code. This is something I developed myself from just being around in the industry and I'm learning what work. First, you got to be producing. So you got to produce something. You know what I'm saying? If you're in the industry, you want to be a part of the industry. What are you producing? What have you produced? Okay, yeah. And then the next thing, you got to be partying, pretty much networking. You got to be out making your presence felt. You know what I'm saying? I like to be on red carpets. I like to be at celebrity events. I just missed the event because I'm here creating this. But Please believe you me, uh, uh, us, the black Hollywood, Hollywood celebrities will be in some events coming up soon. And then the next thing is promoting. Just because you're hitting events and stuff and you're partying, that's one thing, and you're getting content and you develop relationships, but you still got to promote, man. It's not Stuff ain't going to promote itself. You can have the dopest project in the world, but if don't nobody know it exists, it does not matter. You know what I'm saying? You got to learn how to promote, and that's what we do here. So look, this is something else. Uh, we had a dope project and we promoted it. It got 3 million views right here. Y'all see this 3 million views on this thing? That was to come up. Okay, so what's the big secret? How am I doing all this stuff? How am I getting millions of views? How do I get all these fans and followers and stuff? Okay, now look at this right here. Y'all see all these people on this mixtape? I'm showing a picture of some people on the mixtape. But the very next slide, right? Let's see if I go to the next slide. Uh, I don't know none of these people on here, so that don't even matter, right? Hood movies are the new mixtape, like, like that. So it's like, it's not a Hollywood movie. It's not a Hollywood movie. Don't come your ass around expecting it to be a Hollywood movie. We shoot hood movies and they coming out and they waving the whole world. But it's not a Hollywood movie. We don't have a $5 million budget. Cut it the fuck out. You feel me? It's like making a mixtape and then being able to get on with this mixtape. People come through my projects. They be having a lot of opportunities afterward. They get more paid jobs. More people see them. A lot of the people just want to get jocked by girls and get fans. Whatever your thing is, you come out of my project and you got seen by a lot of people. You got a different kind of respect. Now, after that, it's on you or what you go, how you going to convert your fans. But the thing is, you will be able to get fans because you'll be part of a hot project, something rock. And this Grand Theft Auto, Murder City, you feel me? This is not an acting job. Acting job, you go in there, you get paid. This is more like 
an acting class or acting program is what it is. So you could come in, you could learn acting, you could learn the foundations, you could build network with other actors, you could have an acting community to be a part of like that, just being a part and being in some industry shit. You know what I'm saying? This is what it's about. It's not an acting job. So some people get paid, some people will get paid. We usually pay our celebrities. So I'm thinking like, mm, I just seen Rocky Bad promoting a little bit. I'm like, man, I haven't seen Rocky Bad in nothing yet. You know what I'm saying? Well, I've seen her in something, but I haven't seen her in something like recent that's fly hot. I'm like, oh man, I might hear Rocky Bad for a role. So I might throw Rocky Bad some cheese. But she got, you know, however many followers she got, they up. You know what I'm saying? So it's different than you come and you got 2,000 followers. You're really getting on a platform with celebrities, so it should be all right for you to be uncomfortable investing in yourself. So what type of artist does this work for? Rappers. For one, y'all know Will Smith, like one of the biggest actors in the world. He was a rapper. LL Cool J was a rapper. Snoop, he be in movies and shit. All these, it's a lot of other people that come from being music people. You know what I'm saying? In movies, models are really good because it's always the visual aspect. Dancers, it's like I said, it's the vid, but they be crazy and got the little turn up to them, like blue face girl. You feel me? Actors, of course, actors because it's acting. You feel me? What I'm saying? Comedians, Frankie Hayes, Carl Payne, all these people who come in. Uh, Kevin Hart, they come do movies and they kill Eddie Murphy, you see. So anyway, influencers is good now in movies. So now what they doing is they pulling a lot of influencers. So you might not be a real celebrity celebrity, but you're an influencer type of celebrity where it comes from social media and you got a bunch of followers. So it's like we pull all of these influencers around and now we got more people looking at the platform. But then I, when they come, you got the real actors and stuff and all the talent like that, you feel me? So and then big people with big personalities. That's the people that people tune in. They looking like, that nigga was crazy. It turned to a meme or whatever. Those people do really good. So no matter what type of artist you are, hood movies will bring you like a fame or a celebrity or a status, like you could be a, a facial recognition. I don't know how to say it to you guys. To me, I like fame. I'm a celebrity, so fame is a thing for me. You feel me? I like fame. It's cool to be famous. It's cool to be celebrated when you come around. When you a celebrity, people celebrate when you come around. Like, oh, that's my dude. Oh, what up, man? Give you free shit. Let you all in. All the shit. It's just part of it because you gonna up the whole place because you in there, you feel me, yo, it's a, you a star, it's a star power that come out, you feel me, so number one, let's go into number one, produce, now, I dropped my first project 2002, if y'all see that, that's a, that's a, a, a CD we done put together, I damn near said DVD, but no, this was a CD, what I was rapping, but it was good, I, it was good, it was in the streets, but I wasn't really making no kind of way. I wasn't getting famous. People was telling me all this stuff to do. I'm spending all this money, but I wasn't getting famous. I did this video right here. Y'all can see I got 18,000 views on this on this video. It's like, oh, man, you know what I'm saying? We was doing something good. I had a grip on the city. Actually, to tell you the truth, that's when I first had a grip on the city. When I dropped that, because it was no kind of music like this. It was pimp music. Everybody was making dope boy music. So this is like, oh, man, I dropped the music and it was going crazy. I, it didn't really go crazy till I dropped the video. People wasn't really dropping videos like that. So I dropped the video on Al Nuke channel. I still fuck with Nuke to this day because when I went on Al Nuke's show, man, it went crazy. So I had the grip on the city with that. So that was good. I had then on the videos, 18,000 views on YouTube. But this ain't the only place it was at. You feel me? So let's go. Oh, uh, but still, I wasn't famous. So that's when I met T.I. So it's like I was coming up, you know what I'm saying? I met T.I., and T.I., he, he taught what's called professional development. That's like you could take what you learn in the streets, and then you could use it in the in a legitimate world, and then you could blow, blow up and even bigger because then you get to keep your stuff. They don't have to get to take it from you, you feel me? So it's all about having a machine behind you. You know what I'm saying? It's not you by yourself. You got, it's a machine, not only you, and then it's more people, but it's also a machine behind that do a bunch of the work so you can just be a celebrity. You feel me? That's the key to success. If you behind the scenes all day working on something, who is in front uh, taking care of leading the people with they in, with this artistry? You know what I'm saying? Is the artist, you're really a leader. They got political issues. They chime in and talk to uh, artists. You're talking about LeBron James just hit some, he scores some points on the basketball court and now he's, he's everywhere because it's important to have these types of figures in the world, man. And we leaders in the world. So that's important. But that's when I, everything changed for me when I started to realize those types of things and start taking it more serious. And that's when I stepped my game up. That's when you see the come up come out. Like y'all, okay, I'm gonna show y'all. 
Y'all see that? That's like professional work right there. You know, we spent a bunch of money on a come up. Like when I first, just to get the first iteration of it done was 50 racks. You feel me? So, and that was, you know, coming from the street. We was in the streets grinding. You feel me? It's some real stuff. So then look, the nice on Tubi. You know what I'm saying? It's something that uh, I could be proud of, a legacy that I could pass on. This is me producing. This is an example of producing. Then next thing you know, Murder City, right up. But this is something I want to show y'all. See, this is this is from Tubi TV right here. And it say Murder City. If y'all, I want y'all to remember that it only say Murder City. And then I took a screenshot right here. This is if saying, only saying Murder City. But look, it got the artwork and everything, but it only said Murder City. But watch this. It's Grand Theft Auto, right? So this is this is it's really important that y'all understand the importance of it being Grand Theft Auto and not just Murder City. You're not just coming to be a part of Murder City, which would be dope because, you know, that's a hood movie title like Murder City. Nigga, that's a, it sounds dope as hell. But no, this is just see Grand Theft Auto. When I put the fastest selling entertainment product of all times, that's what this is. It took the game only three days to make a billion dollars. Look, I'm showing them Google. It took the game three days to make a billion dollars, making it the fastest selling entertainment product in history, right? So what happened? What did they do for us? This is what game changed it for. Them. They put Grand Theft Auto Murder City on Tubi on there. They verified me. That's the that's my blue check. That's my validation right there. They went inside their system like, let me look at this. Somebody had to look at, we didn't reach out to Tubi and say, hey, Tubi, could you change the name on it? No, they changed the name on it they sell. You feel me? So now we have the license to run under Grand Theft Auto Murder City on Tubi. We got a, a green light. All we got to do is come with some quality and then people around the world clicking and watching this. This is real people is going viral when people was watching this. This is dope and they enjoying it. For another thing, look at this right here. This is us promoting it. 500,000 uh, 500, people we even reached this month promoting it. 900,000. This was it? Yeah, 28 days. 900,000 people we don't reach. This is us just promoting it. This is not how many people seeing it on Tubi, but we are on all the ads. So these are the ads. The promo like this be floating around the internet. You feel me? We let y'all see this. Boom, promo like this floating around the internet with us inside of the Grand Theft Auto stuff. You know what I mean? Framework. You feel me? So... Look, now that, that's that's me produce us producing. That's having a, a production part of whatever you have going. Because I'm teaching y'all the things I learned in the industry. You got to be producing. It's like Spanky was like, man, I don't even go out if I ain't got no win. Because if you somebody, they want to know what's next, man. What you done did next? I'm like, damn, I just dropped a movie like five months ago. It's like niggas drop a movie every year. Don't I got like seven months to go? So no, they want to see. What you doing right now? I'm like, all right, I got some. I'm gonna produce some. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be produced. Number two is party. So we win it. This is me, 350 Terrace. That's you know, we just be up on the ceiling on the roof. This is uh when we dropped the come up, we dropped the trailer. We were really impressed with the trailer. That's Alante Taylor in the back, man. That was my partner in Trime. <laughs> it wasn't crime, it was trime. You feel me? So uh, so we we put we were so proud of it. We had we rented the hookah lounge in Southfield and we threw a real full fledged all out premiere just for the trailer. You know what I'm saying? And the people were so welcomed by it. And, and like the people, they were so enthusiastic to come out and just felt so good of being a part of like, something to where we celebrating at this type of level. But that's the importance of it, man. What kind of teamwork and camaraderie that engenders when that kind of things happen? You know, so that's Black Hollywood. This is us on the red carpet. We're at the Bel Air on movie premieres. That's Madame Versace. That's Bell Sinatra. That's me in the middle. You see me right there. This is uh this is a uh, sideways Billy Lou style right there. Yeah, we all big on the red carpet. You feel me? The thing is, can you act in public? <laughs> so when you say party, when you're talking about actors, you're an actor. Now you are, now you come and you're not. You may not necessarily be a celebrity yet, but now you're a part of the industry. And in certain ways, we act when we in the industry. On this side over here. Now, everybody else will tell you something, but then you will get around in people from the industry and you'll be looking crazy because you don't know the rules or the basic parts of just being a be backstage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? So it's just some. Y'all see me right here with Marcus Pog right there backstage. This is Spanky pointing a gun to this lady here. That's cool. Uh, me and Darius Blackman, you know, backstage stuff. Over here, here you go. Right here. This is Hood Chicks. I want to tell y'all a story about Hood Chicks, about acting. 
Because some of y'all might be like, man, y'all might be excited about it, but y'all might be like, can I act? Can I do it when the camera get on me? Can I do it? So I'm going to pull this picture up of this stripper right here. Her name's Slim Goody. You see her right there? Now, when she came in, when Slim Goody came in, I was like, oh, yes. Because she had the, the big tits and the big ass, but it was like engendered, like shot in there and made. I'm like, oh, that's what we needed because we had these other two on the front. But we just needed this one right here. So we like, OK, oh, let me go back to that. So <laughs> now I'm just telling this story. You feel me? I don't have to tell this story, but I want to break this down for people who got this nervousness of acting so you can relax, man. Because she came in and she once she started trying to read the lines, I was like, oh, this is all oh, we about to die. This is I cannot do. I can't put her on camera like that. I'm like, this is not going to work. So what I did, though, instead, I, I put her to the side. I'm like, listen, man, this is put the paper. Let's put the paper down. I'm like, you a dancer, you a stripper. I know you be stripper. I know you're not telling these people your real life all day. You got to be telling them something. They got to be something in there, you know what I'm saying, where it's, it's a little acting. And then, then she started really realizing what I was saying. Like, yeah, I do be like this with these niggas. I'm, I'm like, okay, so let's take the nigga. Let's say you walk in on a nigga. He cheating on you. It's a motherfucker you know, and you got the burner on you. What you going to do when you come in? What you going to say? She was like, I'm going to do this. I'm like, hold up, don't even do it. We about to run action on the scene. I'm like, hold up. I'm like, you, you going to be the nigga and you be this nigga. We at the thing. So we in a rehearsal thing. So I'm like, all right, and? Ask, and the next time, I'm talking about the very next time she was dope. The next time she had, by the time we got to the movie, she busting burners. She had got shot in the side. She limping. She, uh, it's a whole nother thing, man. So you can't act, man. This is a thing where, you know, it's not like a lot of pressure, like, some places you got to read line for line, word for word, all that shit. I do what's called a framework. I do a skeleton. And then I leave a lot of room for you to be able to insert your own character in there and develop a character. So they take a lot of work off me because I don't have to develop the character all the way to the hill. Because somebody going to come in and they real character could shine through. But just in that role, you feel me, from that one aspect, the one that we need. So once we get into different scenarios, it flow natural. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's almost like they channeling the aspect of they self. So anyway, let's get it. This is the group when they only had 449 members, the Gorilla King Films group. We had about uh, 1,200 members now. I'm really proud of the group. The group is growing. Uh, we've been providing value in there. It's opportunities. We film in this. Is, uh, we come, okay, this is what's happening on, on Saturday. What is it? Saturday. Saturday, we meeting at a private location. I'm going to uh, audition some people. And right after we audition, I'm going outside and I'm filming. We filming with some people on Saturday. I'm not even playing. You know I don't bullshit. So anyway, I'm proud of the group. But that's partying, man. And knowing how to, you know. Be out in public, know how to be in public, and actually, you know, having the confidence that you what you did is good. And when you out, I am somebody. I'm doing the shit. That's why I'm part of the industry because I'm in movies. Now I'm in four movies for real. When they going out, niggas on my face. You feel me? So anyway, the last, the last one. Is, so I gave y'all produce. Now y'all got the party part. Now we gonna go in the promo part in the promotion. Promotions is one of the biggest things, man. It's like one of the most fun things is where all the fun stuff happens. But it's like you got to do it. Imagine an artist having to perform on stage back to back to back. He really promoting the album. They paying him to do the performance, but really he's a living, breathing commercial for the shit. That's promotions, but you having the most fun. All the fans is right there. That's what I'm trying to say, man. So let's get into it. The first thing first, we got to activate the haters. Can the haters please step to the front, please? <laughs> it's always hate. I don't give a fuck what I'm doing. It's always some haters. And it's okay because the haters is the loudest people for you. You know what I'm saying? Hate is really a perverted form of love. But just think about it like this. If somebody hates your shit, they're going to tell so many people that they hate your shit. But somebody can love your shit. And it could be they dirty little secret. I like this hood movie shit. I like it when they give me some head under the desk. And I just like to see it. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what among what somebody really like. But the haters, though, they're going to talk about it. You feel me? So that's important. So we're going to talk about the haters. No, they wait until you do all the work. Then they come steal and talk shit. That's what haters do. They steal your credibility. They steal your people. And they talking all this shit, putting doubt in the people's mind, right? So like. Like with this program, 
Like real celebrities be in it. The shit I'm about to put out, it already got celebrities in it. The stuff y'all coming into right now, it's already celebrities in it. It's already gays to go out. Y'all about to get into some stuff that's already moving and be able to hop in on a moving train. You feel me? And just get going. It's cool. But they don't tell you not to do it. It's like, okay, well, if you don't do it, what opportunity do they have for you? Not what other opportunities do you have? Because you already had those opportunities when you was coming in toward this opportunity because you saw it was a good opportunity. But what other, ha the, one, the person that's derailing you from this opportunity, what other opportunity do they have for you? You see what I'm saying? That's the important thing right here. And then most times they don't have no hits. Niggas don't be having no hits at all. Niggas are not, they'll never put nothing out. Nobody you know who they is. They have 500 views on one thing and they just have a lot of being busy. Like they be busy, like drive, they moving around, driving around, flying around and stuff. But don't nobody really know them for their works in the real world. That's the important thing to notice when somebody pulling you from a project where we actually getting results. You know what I'm saying? We like we really care about our people and you know about their brand and all that kind of stuff. And they actually they well being them as a person. And then not having them come in and not have this whole connection or avenue or platform or you know what I'm saying? It's just like, I got a story. So just before I move on, it was a stripper. I'm talking to the stripper. I'm like, look, I'm like, you bad as hell. I know you got badass stripper friends. I'm like, listen, let's go half on a movie like a baby. You feel me? I'm like, listen, I star you in a movie. You know what I'm saying? I had the best camera people shooter. You put half the money up and bring the females. I put half the money up and I bring the cameras. And then we split some cheese. You feel me? So I'm like, this is a really, because I'm starring her. She wanted to get in movies. This is what made me think about it. What way can I deal with this particular person to make it make sense? So I'm like, this is how it'll make it make sense. She telling me about another guy told her not to do it. I'm like, well, well what kind of role he got for you? You know what I'm saying? Because usually females be getting the worst roles ever and stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Especially when a nigga make it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm like, well, what kind of role does he got for you? He talking about he ain't got no role for me. He ain't even got you in the movie. I'm talking about starring you, the first, the person in the middle of the camera for the whole movie. And then it's, I'm like, cut it out. So who is this? This is Mark Zuckerberg right here. Why is he laughing like that, right? Because literally it's 2 billion people on Facebook. It's 3 and a half billion people on Google and shit. It's like, why you only got 100 views? For real, why you only got 100 views? I don't, you know, whatever you can say about any other kind of thing that's going on, if it's billions of people and you got a way to get your stuff in front of them, why you only got it in front of a hundred? You just put all that work in for what, man? Cut it. This is us doing 2.7 million minutes watched on the come up. And this is just on Amazon, you know? So this is for real stuff. This is us unlocking congrats on being eligible for super thanks because now we're going into what? We're going into merchandising because we having our fans is coming around. So we get the merchandising and stuff. We put it on. On this, so we can have your face. Imagine your face being on this face mask and people walking around with it. But they'll do it because they got Grand Theft Auto on there. Right? Because that's why our stuff is unlocking, right? Because it's Grand Theft Auto and then it's a lot of Grand Theft Auto fans. So we, I'm about to wrap this training up and tell y'all how to get into this. But this thing right here, this scale right here is probably one of the most important things that I'm, I'm about to teach you guys right here. This scale right here. I call this the passion scale, right? So on one side of the passion scale, if you put something out, people don't like it. And then it'll go all the way over from they don't like it to dislike to dislike. And then that's just the indifference or they could like it and they could like it, like it, like it, right? So they can either dislike it or they could like it. But the thing is, the intensity is when it go up. When the energy go up, that's when the intensity go take it from dislike up into towards into hating now when it's hate it's way up there right you guys so these all fans mind you this is the tricky part everything on this thing is fans people that care because if they didn't even care they wouldn't care enough to like it or dislike it they just keep moving right so that means that everything on here is actually really a fan now you got fans that are dislike it until it's hate and then you got fans that are like it until it's love. So if the far as it go on the hate side, 
you're going to have somebody just as adamant on the love side. So imagine you getting a whole bunch of love. You know it's somewhere somebody hating like a motherfucker. Because y'all see how the scale is going up at the same time on both sides. So if somebody just like your shit a little bit, you ain't got a lot of haters and shit. But if they loving your shit, it swing all the way to hating your shit. Can y'all see that and understand how powerful that realization is? We got a thing, right? We got a thing called super fans. Super fans is when niggas love your shit so much that they like, oh yeah. So if some if some niggas that's a super hater, they'll try to hurt you for no reason. Like I hate this nigga. This sitting over there looking at this. I hate to look at this black ass nigga. This Uncle Ruckus ass nigga want to hurt you. On the other side, it's somebody not love. I give this motherfucker anything, man. If he just gave me the time of day, I give this nigga anything. You. Those are super fans, you feel me? So, and that's where a lot of the this, this fan support come from, right? So, now where, now why is super fans important in this thing we call Grand Theft Auto, right? Because we're talking about Grand Theft Auto. Now, right here, it's like, and this is from Wikipedia. The fan base of Grand, the Grand Theft Auto has one of the largest fan bases of any great franchise. So, they got all the fans already. They already got super fans. And we the only movie. It's not another Grand Theft Auto movie in the world besides the one that Ashe Khan, the Gorilla King, made. So we got fans, as many fans as we show it to. Some of them gonna hate it like, this ain't even Rockstar. Some niggas be hating like, this ain't Rockstar approved and shit like that, right? Some people dumb out like, all oh, y'all recreated some of the scenes in there. Oh, that's my man. That's supposed to be my man right there. So you got both sides of the spectrum and that's really important, man. When you're talking about coming to be a part of a project, you about to invest your time. You and with this, you're gonna invest some money to being a part of something. But what are you being a part of? How powerful is it to be able to associate yourself with that brand? You see how hard that picture is. This is my picture with the brand on. This is me and but this is Grand Theft Auto. But we really could do it because it's really a movie franchise shit we doing. So this is what you get to be a part of, and this is why you're gonna get fan support. Don't worry about spending money, man. You're going to get it so much back in fan love, you don't even understand. Is that not amazing? You see how being a part of, like, if you was in Grand Theft Auto Murder City, like, you might not see it like it'll change my life. But what if you get in it, it blow up around the whole world, and then you in Chicago, and you about to get robbed, but then some of your fans pop out and save your ass. I was in New Orleans. There was some niggas following me, but it was some other niggas that was my fans that was on the niggas' heads. You feel me? I swear it was some other it was some other niggas on them niggas' heads, and it was because they was my fans, and then they had seen that angel part of the movie, so they was my angels. You feel me? So that's big. So the question is, do you want to be a part of this series? Do you want to be a part of the Grand Theft Auto Murder City series that we're doing? That's a question. That's a question for yourself. Is can you see yourself getting in front of the cameras and we just put a clip out with my man? He was tussling. He fell down. He jumped up, busting at my man as he started off. Could you see that? Can you see yourself in that kind of uh, light or whatever? If you can see yourself in, the, in that kind of light, then I got an offer for you guys right now. I know I'll be talking. I'll be going. I'll be, I call it flowing. I used to be a rapper, so I'm going. If I'm going, I'm going. But I got an offer for you guys to take like Three, four, five minutes. Let me just shoot it to you. If you want to be a part, then you can come on up on uh, uh, Saturday. And then I'm going to weed through who we're going to use. And we shooting that day. And we editing and putting it straight out into the atmosphere. You feel me? So introducing the Gorilla King acting pro program. This is the Gorilla King acting program. This is new and improved and revised, right? So everything you can access in our acting program. I, include, I know y'all waiting for the acting challenge. Now, the acting challenge start Monday. This is all in this. The acting challenge is something else. We're going to pick. We're going to select one person for this Grand Theft uh, Auto series and make them one of the stars of the series. So this we picking one person, and we're going to make them a star out of this acting challenge. It's a three-day acting challenge. So I hope y'all ready for this. It's starting on Monday. You feel me? So anyway, let's go. You get a chance to star in a real movie, right? A lot of people just like to audition all the time, but this time you really get to star. We go, this say like drugs and strippers at the top of the screen. Don't think about that. It's like character creation. We about to help, we gonna create a character for you. If you come through this program right here or whoever gonna come through, some of y'all might not be able to come through. It's not for you if it's not for you, it's trust me. You know what I'm saying? Some, celebrity is not for everybody. I had a movie, Drugs and Strippers right here. 
one of the actresses was young. Fame got to her too fast. I couldn't keep my hands on her. And it just whiplashed her all around because everybody give you everything when you're famous. This is how I go. But we, have, we, cre we create the character with you. We don't just take you and like, do this. We, we kind of take the essence of who you are and what we're looking for and we make a mess out of it. It's really a process. It's a real process. Another thing is we do a lot of virtual, like uh, the, the, the online auditions and rehearsals. It'd be like uh, that the, the Hollywood squares or something. Like the squares in the back over here. It's like square, everybody in the square and then they, they acting back and forth. Like you read with him, you read with him. You know, it's like that. So it's cool. We got the training. I'm big about fans. So I have a lot of fans and I like to communicate with everybody. So imagine having thousands of fans. I got a system that I, I, you got to have a system. Like when you dealing with me and you in a real ass role, I'm talking about if I'm working with you, you're going to have fans. If I'm really putting you front and center, you're going to get fame. And it's going to, it's you in the industry for real. You see what I'm saying? So it's not like, for play, like, you know what I'm saying? It's the Illuminati, all kind of shit. For real, out here, you got to be cool. You know what I'm saying? You can don't move too fast. I was talking to Madame Versace. She was like, I was hitting levels after levels. And I ain't saying she's Illuminati. But she was like, I was hitting levels. And then I had this happen. And I was like, cool. You know what I'm saying? Because I was moving up the levels fast. So that's just a, a piece. But anyway, this is a level two acting class. That's what, that's what we got right here to teach y'all when we talking about building fans and moving through the industry. We get that to you. That's a $1,500 course. We get that to you in here. So now y'all at $4,500 worth of value. Y'all can't see it, but they can see it on the screen. This is Alante right here pulling out cameras right here. This is us on set. We got the uh, the whole real set. Let me let y'all see this. The crew, everything. This ain't just, you know, we ain't just out there playing around. We's like, this is real, like real big boy stuff right here. It's real all prop guns. None of them is real burners. All prop guns. This is us out here big boy shooting. We usually charge $1,000 a day to shoot. You know what I'm saying? It's a thousand dollars. If somebody was trying to hire us, my day raise a thousand dollars. We come shoot. So you get three film days, right? So uh, that's a uh, three thousand dollar value. So y'all have seven thousand dollars worth of value when y'all coming into this actor program. Y'all not paying seven thousand, but just listen to what you're getting. So this is important. You on flyers, ten thousand flyers. We still old school. We still put flyers out. People don't. You know, they discount flyers. I don't discount flyers. Somebody told me I was a legend because they seen me on a poster in a liquor store. So that's how powerful this shit could be. I'm on a poster in a liquor store, and that's he associate me with being a legend for that. Mutual phone fam. And they they associate me with being a legend for that. So we still out and we still touch people, man. You know what I'm saying? Because to me, Tupac, a big thing with Tupac, they would say this, this nigga will rap. But he wouldn't just rap and leave. A lot of niggas that rap, they'll rap. They don't talk to nobody while they're there. Then they do their performance. They leave on niggas and shit. All they crowd leave. Tupac didn't do that. Pac, would he would go there, and then he'd be out in that shit. Then he'd go on that shit. I don't know if he would be out there first. I never would be out first too much mingling. But then I go out, I go on stage, and then I come down, and I'm still there. Because now you got your fan. You just connected with some people. And more people going up. You Can't you show them for love? They just sat through your shit. So... It's kind of different. I'm still I'm still old school in that kind of way. So I'm still gorilla. The gorilla promo is like fifteen hundred. If I put a crew out with the flyers and stuff like that, that's how much it would cost if you pay for it yourself. So you had like eighty five hundred dollars worth of value with the character creation, the level two acting course, you filming with us, the be inside of this this uh, uh series, the promo that go with all with you on all the flyers and stuff, and it going out. And then what else go with that? So I'm like, how, how can I total package everybody with this acting program? That's how, how could I over deliver on value to where if I was coming into it, it's exactly what I know I would need. The next thing is you got to have your social media together, man. When, so we do a, a social media makeover. That's a thousand dollars. So if you if you get in the movie, you blowing up this shit. So or just even if you in a music video, whatever, this shit trending like a month. We doing millions of views. Everybody like, oh, yeah. They go to your social media and then you got a cat as your picture, your in your in your picture. And it's like you got to clean it up. You got to make it. And you in the industry, you got to be industry standard and, and you'll get the industry results. You could not. And so you can make it however you want. But it's a certain standard that you want to keep your pace to. And it's some, some things that we do specifically here that help you build your thing and then go fast. And you'll be all right. So we help you with the social media makeover. Another thing. This is a new page right here, 367 likes, 1,000 likes. These is real likes from real people and shit. This is what we're doing here. This is when the page was at uh, 12,000 followers, the page at 21,000 followers. My GTA page, my, my uh, I say kind of GTA page at 24,000, about 25,000 followers right now. 
I'm just going up to 100,000 followers. We just got a new promo going out. It's about to keep going up. So this is what y'all going to have access to. in a it's, I call it a fan campaign. It's 2,500 I charge niggas. If you want to see how to do this, what I'm doing over here to get my, my following going crazy with real ass people attaching on. So right here, this is $12,000 worth of value by itself. I'm like, just I just like, let me just stack on everything that I know I would need if I was coming into the industry and I'm looking back. So the last thing by invitation only, we got the gorilla hangouts. You feel me? Let me show y'all this picture right here. This is me and some gorillas. That's what we call ourselves. We gorillas and about going out and getting our fans. You feel me? But this is how it is when we hanging out. We just be, we be wilding, but we go over our strategies, what's working, what we doing next. It's like a mastermind group. But I think it's really important, especially for new artists to be around uh, seasoned artists and for seasoned artists to see that new freshness that's coming in so they don't get stuck and get irrelevant. So the seasoned artists, they got all the game and the new fresh artists, they got the relevancy, the heat, the energy and all that shit. So I think those VIP groups, that's access is really important. So those is industry events. You see what I'm saying? That's what it's called, an industry event. I'm just letting y'all know. If y'all on this live, y'all on this live. If y'all ain't on this live, y'all ain't on this live. So anyway... Well, that's the thousand dollar value to get access to those events we're doing that. So that's the thirteen thousand dollars worth of value. But am I charging y'all thirteen thousand? No. But what if I charge y'all thirteen thousand and y'all was getting like ten thousand likes on all y'all shit? Would it, would, it, would it be worth it if you have really had a big ass following? They liking all your shit. What's living your acting dream worth to you? Like, if somebody was rich as hell and they had a chance to play in a movie with Tom, Tom Cruise, would they pay thirteen racks? Hell yeah, they'd pay. A hundred racks, you know what I'm saying? To be able to get, you got a chance to be in Grand Theft Auto. You know what I'm saying? What's that worth? Like, cause this is historical. You know what I'm saying? It's, a lot of the fans going to see this and watch this for years and years to come. My movie is going to be watched. It's still getting a check. I, you know, I'm, it was 2020 when I made it. It's 2023. It's not going to stop getting the check. Grand Theft Auto not going to stop being Grand Theft Auto. So y'all got a chance to be in something. Like, what would you do? And y'all see the quality. What would you do to star in this? And some shit like this. Like, imagine imagine being on set. Just right now, just imagine being on set. And it's not no lame shit that you got the suit on and you all stiff. No, you in a, you in a trap. You looking around the corner. You about to go out and bust this nigga because this nigga done robbed you. And you see him. He done killed somebody in your family. You see him. So you got the burner on you. and we got So we got the camera on you. We got to shoot it two, three times. So it's like, how you about to come around here and shoot, though? Is you going to come around and shoot lame as hell, or are you about to come out busting that thing? You feel me? This is something else, man. And the promo alone, like I said, when I made the come up, it was like 50 racks to put it together. But that wasn't the end of it. We spent well over 100000 promoting the come up. We still promoting the come up. It's going through my reels right now. You know what I'm saying? It's like five years old. I'm still pushing it. It's like what it is. So this is... This is how we going viral, though. We don't just post up on something one time and it's over with. No, I'm just getting started when I post it one time. I'm just not introducing you to it. This That's promo for real. So even though I could charge 13 racks to come a part of, uh, of this program like this, and people will play that. People paid me way more than that before to come to work with me. But I'm not going to ask you to invest that amount. I'm not going to ask you to invest $10,000. I'm not on none of that. I'm not, I'm not even at a $5,000. I'm not even at Beyonce ticket prices. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But by invitation only, because I feel like this is an Eminem moment. For real, for real, I feel like it's an Eminem moment. I feel like uh, being a part of like a, a project like this, Grand Theft Auto, it's not, it's not an everyday occurrence that you could even be, participate in a project like this. You know what I'm saying? And that's validated to be a project. You know what I'm saying? Because you would get in any project that's made up a brand new brand, but to be able to be a part of a project that's a brand that's already historical and being able to put that on your resume. Me as a filmmaker, I got to come up on my resume and then I got I made Grand Theft Auto. It wasn't the white guy that you thought that was a rich millionaire. It was Ashe Khan made Grand Theft Auto and it slapped. You feel me? So anyway, but those who are decisive, I want y'all to take action right now. You can move forward. Like I said, we're not even at 997 Beyonce prices. We really at 397. 397, you could come, you could get a uh, get a roll in the thing, and you could get to shooting. And y'all come out Saturday and be filming, and it's coming out. Not something we playing around and thinking of. No, we filming Saturday and it's coming out. Here go the link at the bottom, paypal.me slash T R A D slash 397, PayPal. So hold on, I just wanted to, it's a fair deal, right? But I just want to go over this one more time. What you get? 
You hold on, let me go. Let me say, hold on, let me show y'all the link again. PayPal.me, because go ahead and sign up. Don't don't let it get too crowded all up. PayPal.me slash T R A D. That's the, the code, four letter T R A D slash 397, because that's the price. Well, okay, so let me just show you again what you get. So you get character created. So you come in, we work with you on developing the character. We don't just throw you in the pit to the wolves. We kind of work with you first to get you together for when you get in front of the camera, you'll be pretty much dope. Uh, far as like the acting at level two acting classes, we actually take y'all in the field. Y'all actually get invites. Y'all come out with us and all that stuff. But we going over with, how you acting as a, a person in the industry and represent the industry. You know what I'm saying? Because you represent. Well, how do you feel like Blueface should be acting when he out? You know what I'm saying? You should be acting closer to like Blueface than you should be acting like the niggas that sit in VIP and think they famous. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, film days. You actually get to come on the set. What else gonna be filming, which is the magic to me. The magic happened.
much you don't know. I know what I'm getting from you every single day. I'm going to take a break. I'm making my way towards the tip in Los Angeles. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like this, but I'm going to take a break. 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 That's it. How the hell are you the greatest per player in the damn near world and you want to just just sit out? That's what I don't realize. Thank you. 